Hey guys, it's Neil at Spardell Arms. Uh, we're continuing our setup uh, for 1911 frames. We're here on another machine. This is a Matsuro vertical. Um, this machine has a full fourth axis on it, which is this, uh, this rotary unit you can see here. I, I've just got the machine uh, running a warm up program right now. Um, but we got a full of ice, install a fixture, and install a few tools to get this machine set up for the job. So here's a closer look at the machine while it's uh, running its warm up program. It got the spindle going, it kind of moves all the axes around a little bit, uh, gets everything moving and warmed up, get the, get the automatic oiler uh, uh, working. So um, this particular machine, I have tooling that remains set up. Uh, th this machine cuts slides and frames. So, you know, it, I can pull my slide tools out and label them and put my frame tools in the offset, stay in the machine. And uh, uh, you can see on my fourth axis here, I've got a, uh, I call it a quick change adapter plate with three pins so that you can uh, quick swap fixtures and you don't have to re-indicate them. Um, so this is kind of a dedicated machine for slides and frames. All right, so here we are uh, looking inside the machine. Now I have to pull this vise right here uh, because my fixture is that bolts to the fourth is approximately this big. I don't have to move this vise right now, so I'm, I'm not going to. Um, you know, typically in a machine shop, if you've got a vise or a fixture set up and you don't have to move it, just leave it in because you don't know if maybe I have to run a quick little job in this vise or, you know, uh, something. So I'm going to leave that and just pull this off. Okay, so uh, because I'm bolting a fixture to this fourth axis plate here, uh, I don't have to clean this table up or anything. Uh, so I'm just gonna clean this, uh, this quick change plate up really nice, give it a quick stone. Um, my fixture has matching uh, precision holes that uh, these pins lock into to align it. Um, here's a good tip for people uh, designing fixtures for CNC machining. Um, you can see I've got three pins and they're not equally spaced around the adapter plate, which means, uh, you know, basically the fixture can only go in one way. You know, if, if these three pins were equally at equal angles around and I had a matching fixture, there would be like three different positions you could put it in, which could lead to, you know, all kinds of bad problems. So um, when you design fixtures, design them so that they can only go in one way.
Okay, we got our fixture in. Uh, you know, basically, um, the frame gets clamped on the end of this fixture, uh, aligned with a couple pins. This is, uh, you know, one of the later ops after there's there's some features already machined in the in the frame. Uh, and basically, because this rotary axis turns, I can hit all kinds of features. Uh, the the slide rails, the dust cover area, um, the, the vertical impact surface, the barrel bed, um, the uh, mag well, stuff like that, all gets machined in this fixture in this machine. Um, the, some of the most critical work, like the, the rail tolerances are done in this machine. Uh, it actually does the, the slide rails as well so a lot of a lot of precision work gets done on this machine um but uh all comes down to tooling and fixturing and and programming so hey thanks for watching guys uh uh i'm gonna continue with my setups here i got one more machine i gotta put a couple different fixtures and some tooling in uh before i can start cutting frames uh you know if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see uh, some of the guns that we offer here at Spardella Arms you can go to spardella-arms.com and check out our, our order form. Thanks for watching have a good day.